remembered where the truck was. Exactly where I parked it. Up the street behind uh, the liquor store by uh, the Rainbow. Of course! Anyways, so, telling these stories, other people say, Hey, don't you remember? Oh, my gosh. Then I remember other things, but still, I'm sticking to the story that they were backed. They, were, they had financial backing. That's why they made it. And all, if not all, if not all, most of the songs on that first album were stolen from Areola. Right? Right, Mike? Right? And he wrote some of those with Carrie. But Carrie, you know, some of those songs Carrie wrote years ago on his own, I guess, because one of them I remember playing. And one of them my friend remembers playing. I don't remember how it goes, but it's like three chords. Just like... It's one of those three chords and one of those in configurations. So there you go. The stories I tell, as far as I know, they are. I'm never lying. It's how I remember them, and I, I don't mind people correcting me at all. Or trying to, you know, well, this is what I've heard. Or this, I love it, because then everything starts, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. And then I start remembering stuff. So that's cool. And the other thing, that guy that calls me bro, he said something just stupid. So I blocked it. I hid his comment on Facebook. And he's like, oh, you're too sensitive. Because the picture of me, I don't know I don't know how many of you on YouTube go to the, my Facebook, but I just put, I posted a picture of me camping. And I got a hat on, sunglasses, and the guy t was taking my pictures. He's like, hey, take your sunglasses off. So I was doing that. I was like this. Guy shot the picture, and, you know, I look beautiful and cool always. And this was in 1993, you know, so I didn't chop my hair off until 95. 30 years old was the cutoff for me. Literally, cut off music, cut off hair, everything, get a real job, done. Which is what I did. So the this doofus that I really don't know, and I said, you know, I don't trust people that don't put their picture up. I don't care what picture, just put a friggin' picture up. If you're too secretive, to me... Because everybody is like, well, I don't want everybody to know my business. You don't know my business. You, you, nobody knows where I actually really live. Some people know probably where I'm filming this, but I don't live here. Come on, think. And I'll never give up the four locations where my guitars are stored. And you kind of know which ones I, I have with me because I play them all the time. And they're not very valuable. This one? What's this, a few hundred bucks? I don't even remember how much these went for. This is the EVH uh, Wolfgang Special or Standard? I put the stupid uh, Charvel sticker right over it. I think it's the, the standard because that's what you want. The standard, like his first guitar was nothing big. So why would you pay anything more than a couple hundred bucks for an Eddie Van Halen guitar? Doesn't make sense. His only cost 200 bucks to build. All of them. Uh. <laughs> So that other guy, I just hid his thing because he's like, don't you wish you still looked like that? 
No. Why would I want to look like I look uh, 1993? I'm old. <laughs> Not old, but I'm 50 something. Low 50 something, not high 50. And if I tell these stories, you got to figure out the guy's got to be somewhere between 50 and 55 something. I'm not 55 and I'm not 50. Figure it out. You should be able to very easily. <laughs> So that's it. I'm just going to talk about the pretty boy flag done and the other guy, Doug, that does not post his picture. And every time I say, dude, what's up? Somebody in his family's sick. He's sick. Some uh, Everybody's always sick. That's his excuse for everything. The first time I met him, he's like, I'm like, what, dude, I'm selling that guitar. How much you want? this much and there's no I'm not haggling because I need the money because my you know cousin's in the hospital and my nephew's dying da -da -da -da, you know the world's coming to an end I'm like geez so every time he vanishes he's like well I've been sick da -da 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 -da. it's always the same thing that's why I was doing the violin thing the other day so he responds like oh you're so sensitive no dude I don't trust people that don't that aren't up front with me. If you've known me for like months and you're still putting on this thing and you want me to find you all this stuff, nah. Why should I do anything for you if you're gonna keep putting on this, uh, you know, screen? Like I see, you know, contact me on Facebook. We start to, you know, you know, trust each other. And I was, this was the trust thing. Okay, you want friggin' some autographs? I'll get you just friggin' autographs that it, nobody else could get. And the guy just turns them down, flat. So, if anybody wants those Motley Crue autographs, I can get them for a good price. I'm not selling, like I said, I don't sell anything. But the person I know, I know that she worked at this place. I know she worked at several places, and that's how she got this stuff. It's absolutely legit. And if you'll see it, you'll know. And this girl is also the girlfriend of this other guy that's on the internet saying all this stuff. And the <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting into that, because then I'm going to get in trouble by who knows who. But... Uh, if you always tell the truth, then you got nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> I'm not really playing anything because I know you guys want to hear talking. So this is what you're freaking getting talking. <laughs> I don't mind. You don't want me to play. You don't want me to play. But uh, there you go. That's the Pretty Boy Floyd Part Two because I got uh, Mike there giving me that information. So it's still they were still a back band and uh, they had help. If Kim Fowley was involved, they taught, he was like, this is what you got to look like, this is what you got to do, this is your stage, da da da. And he brought in investors. That's what I'm talking about. Investors, people. So it's a manufactured band, anyways. It is. No matter, even with the, that information, it's still the same. They're fake. They didn't write their own music, nothing. And, the, and why they're still... I don't even know who, who's in, in the band now. Is it that Steve guy and that's it? I don't know. Because I obviously don't care. 
There's very few bands that I keep up with from that time. So there you go. Please feel free to let me know anything you, you know, have information on or you want to tell me because I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> But if you're going to be a smart ass about it, I'll hide your comment, Doug. I'm just admitting to him that that's, you know, I'm not like, oh, here are my feelings. Beep. It's like, oh, no, asshole. Uh-uh, uh-uh. One, I, I don't like bro. Hey, bro. And no one gets this joke. It's In the 80s, there was a song, Don't Call Me Bro. And Kenny C used to play it all the time. It's like, don't call me, bro. And the guy ends up like beating the crap out of this guy that keeps calling him bro. It's funny. I'm like, hey, I like that song because I don't like that either. But there was like another guy that I actually like. I think Tony. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I called you, bro. I'm like, no, dude, it's not you. It's not you. It's this other guy, and it's the way he uses it. It's like, hey, man, you know, we're cool, and, you know, no, I don't know you, dude. And every time I think you, you pull some kind of crap that makes me not trust you, so that's where we're standing now. You earn my trust, we're back, we're cool. You don't care? I don't care either. something almost there dudes and dudettes <laughs> oh and so okay the deal thing will be with Tracy G right, I'm gonna set that up right cool and anything else just comment you know talk about this do this do that whatever I'll, I'll keep going it's just sometimes it's hard to think of things so I just talk about crap all right see ya metal